Word up, word up, word up. Huh? <laughs> Man, yeah. I'm, I'm glowing. I mean, what can I say? I stopped, you know what I mean, four days in a row, no animal product. They say after three weeks, you can see the results. So I heard you say I look, I look, I'm looking good. Thank you. And there's no filter. I just, I woke up like this. Left eye drooping, but that's all right. God is good. Um, today I heard a song by French Montana and The Weeknd. I listen to it. I'm not. I'm not a French Montana fan until really today. I was like, man, he he got that smoke, and where there's smoke, there is fire. Not gonna lie, I don't like the new hip hop that much. I'm 50 years old, so I shouldn't. I, I shouldn't uh, be able to relate to a French Montana and the Migos. I shouldn't. So I'm gonna stop criticizing uh, hip hop because you know if you 40. 40, you know, if you 35, you shouldn't be able to re relate to these 19. So stop being bitter, stop being mad, stop having an opinion and let them live. And New York, New York rappers, the bars is over. I repeat, the bars are over. So if you come in there with all that internet barism, it's dead. And that's why there's, it's not too many, um, people from new new york that's resurging because they not getting in um uh, they not hopping on the wave it's about a groove it's about a feel-good song it's kind of like r&b-ish hip-hop yeah drake music i ain't used to like him I, I you know i ain't feel drake but hey put him on at a, you know cabaret i have a little sip of wine i'm a two glass hitter and uh be like damn this nigga make you feel good pause um but i ain't coming on here for all that to tell y'all how good i look to tell y'all about hip-hop I, I, it just came out let's talk about french montana and the weekend they got this song out i don't know what it's called but i know max b came in the song i had to rewind it three times unbelievable now if max b so happened to be getting out soon He'll be doing another uh, Remy Ma. It's going to be the new from prison to all the way up. But uh, yeah, the song was incredible. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. The weekend on there. I'm a weekend hater. He changed his hairstyle, so I might change my mind, you know. But yo. That Max B verse. <sighs> Shout out to Frenchman Montana for setting his boy up. So many people get locked up and wrote off. Uh, so shout out to French Montana for uh, being a loyal dude. <sighs> Man, hopefully he be getting out uh, soon and he changes his life around. If he come out still be on that effery. Y'all know what effery is, right? I don't like to use them words. Not today. Maybe in the afternoon I might drop an F-bomb. But today, I just woke up. I don't feel like dropping, you know, none of that. Uh, if he come out with the ignorance, huh, it'll be sad. Hopefully he come out. When he come out, he come out humble. Hopefully, he, you know, he lead a Jim Jones situation alone because he'll only give life back to Jim Jones, you know? Even though Jim Jones chilling, it ain't like he don't have life. But what I'm saying is, be humble. Don't pull a damn Tupac. It didn't end up well. Rest in peace to my man, my, my greatest rapper of all time. Why? Because he was more than just a rapper. He was Tupac Shakur. There's only one of him. You can't compare him with Biggie. You can't compare him with nobody that was the man but you know he just got tied up you know and and, and he was in the maze and, and really couldn't find his way out he was oh, 20 some years old that's incredible when i was 20 some years old i was still sucking on a baby bottle living with my grandma duke stains deep in the draws so when you think about some of the yo this little young boy had an interview with the media 
and he controlled the media on the rape charge coming out of court, them asking them questions. Stuff like that, man. We'll never see another Tupac Shakur. Ever. So I didn't even get on here to talk about no damn Tupac Shakur. That's a different segment. Yo, man, let me get out of here because who knows what I might say. Peace up, Bobby Holiday. Oh, dang. You thought I was going to sneeze? Nigga, please.